our fire crews were able to hold the fire within Marine Park, in this area here. They were able to complete some burnout operations. And what that basically means is they're improving the area, widening the area along these roads and trails to where, um, to where the fire, fire has, um, won't have as much of a likelihood of spotting across these lines. So basically, we got some really good black line in all the way here. This is Bear Lake Road area. This is the Fern Lake Trail that all the way back to here. This morning, the crews are in here working to, um, to tie this area back in to the area that burned early on in the fire to try to get some good solid black lines so the fire won't squirt out up through here. Um, they're also down here working where the fire was making push it. This is a steep mountain right here. They don't want the fire moving around underneath here and coming back, back this direction. As you probably all know, if you've watched the weather, we're expecting weather today, red flag warning starting at noon until 6 a.m. And that uh, our winds tonight are supposed to be very similar to what we saw on Friday night when the fire made a three mile push. Basically the fire at that point in time was, was back off in here. I'm sorry, it was it was back off in here, um, spotted, spotted again, and ran this full three miles across here within um, 35 minutes, about 1 a.m. on Friday morning. We are experiencing the same conditions tonight. Fortunately, um, we've got a lot more resources on hand, and we've got some pretty good black line in here already. Um, we probably have about fire, uh, 200 firefighters on the scene. We are um, actually currently briefing a Type 1 incident management that will be assuming command of the fire tomorrow morning. We will have, of course, firefighter, firefighting resources uh, working all night long. We have structure protection resources all through the 66, this first 66 corridor. They'll be working in there as well as having crews out in here making sure that we don't have a repeat event on Friday night. Uh, hopefully if we get through tonight, things will look much better. Um, as the week progresses, can be able to continue to improve that black line all the way around. Um, Good morning, I'm Nick Christensen, uh, Nick N-I-C-K, Christensen, C-H-R-I-S-T-E-N, S-E-N, I'm Executive Officer of the Lambert County Sheriff's Office. Uh, a few updates on the evacuation and pre-evacuation. Highway 66 corridor remains under evacuation status at this time. Uh, no change in that over the last 24 hours. There have been some changes in the Mary's Lake uh, area that was previously pre-evacuated. We've expanded that as of last night and include um, some additional areas west of Mary's Lake. Uh, those areas are generally from uh, Marine Avenue to uh, the uh, Park Ridge Road area and then south to Highway 7 and Fish Creek Road. So that's uh, kind of down in, uh, here's the 66 corridor a little closer to the fire area and the park boundary, that's under evacuation. And then Mary's Lake, portions of this under pre-evacuation status at this time. Uh, we also have uh, Woodland, excuse me, Woodland Heights remains under uh, pre-evacuation status. That's up in this area here uh, near the, the park entry. And uh, we're just asking residents in those areas to treat those pre-evacuations very seriously and remain ready to go. Uh, this is clearly a very uh, uh, wind and uh, weather driven fire uh, like uh, many of them are and so we're subject to what mother nature brings us today we'll see what uh, what's in store depending on what happens those pre-evacuation and evacuation areas may change uh, throughout the day and beyond um, the fire lines hold will make every effort to pull those back in we know it's inconvenient for folks to be out of their homes and uh, and our hearts go out to those people who have been displaced, but it's for good reason, and uh, we'll continue to look at that throughout the day. Uh, we're asking the residents to remain vigilant, and there's a couple ways they can do that. We do have a public information phone number, that's 970-577-3716. That goes to our Joint Information Center here in Estes Park. Uh, they have cellular phones, and uh, if want updates, they can register through uh, Lita, L -E -T -A dot o -R -G. and then we also have a website, uh, ncweb.org, with information available on the fire. Uh, just a couple uh, updates related to the EVAC Center. The Evacuation Center has been at Estes Park High School. School will be in session tomorrow, so that will be moving as of this evening. 
and be relocated to the Mountain View Bible Fellowship at Highway 7 and Peak View in Estes Park. Uh, there will also be a public meeting this evening at 5 p.m. at Town Hall uh, for those who have been evacuated and concerned citizens. That's all I have. I'm just open up for questions at this point. That meeting's inside where? It's at Town Hall in Estes Park. So what are your numbers as far as evacuations and pre-evacuations? I don't have updated numbers on that. We were well over a 